Hello, hello, Capricorn, and welcome into Speak Life. My name is Mia. Today, we are going to be talking about what is it that you need to be focusing your energy on, Capricorn. Please, universal energies, bring me three messages. Your readings were supposed to be out yesterday, but I had dentist issues, and, well, I had to do it today. I have one on the floor. Um, circle of eternal joy timelessness and this dance of life listen dance in the rain dance in the snow you know make sure that you are finding everything in your life that you need to be eternally grateful for and let me tell you sometimes that will help you along your journey please universal energies spirit guides ancestors let me get two more messages for capricorn sun moon rising and Venus. Come on. I got another one here. And we have summoning power, intellect, control, and instinct. Okay? So follow your intuition. It will never fail you. I promise. Show people that you have the power to do what you need to get done. Okay? Um, you also have here angelic assistance, divine guidance, and loving support. So some of you could be either giving support, receiving support from someone. Let me tell you, everything that we do is divinely guided, okay? Sometimes whenever we say, oh my God, I wonder why this doesn't happen now. It's just because it's not really meant to be. All right, let me get one oracle message for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, universal energies, spirit guides, ancestors. Ooh. All right, let's see. One, come on, Capricorn. What is going on? All right, there we go. I was going to say, if not, I'm going to pull. Speak your truth. Stand up for what you believe in, regardlessness of the circumstances. Speak your truth no matter what others may think. <clears throat> it's time to stand in your own power. Summoning power. So some of you need to fucking stand on your two feet, stand stable for all the world to see. Speak your truth, okay? And I'm going to tell you, you will be noticed. Sometimes we, we have no other choice but to speak, but to say our truth. You know, don't sugarcoat things, you know, if you don't need to. Three of wands. What are you waiting for? Some of you are waiting. Some of you have made some plans and where you're going and what you need to get done. And I feel that, you know, you're just waiting for the universe to reward you whatever it's going to give you. You have here in the past the five of um, the five of swords. I feel that for some of you, you were coming out of a very disagreeable relationship or wherever you were, it was filled with drama. It was filled with fighting. It was filled with a lot of fuckery. That's my fuckery card, you know? Um, and I feel that some of you may feel that you were totally defeated in this situation. The universe is sending you the power to change your destiny. And I'm going to tell you, for those of you that don't do it, the universe is going to do it for you. The problem with that is that sometimes when we um, are in a situation where we don't change the circumstance and the universe is forced to do it for us, sometimes it comes in as a little bit of a shock, simply because it's not something that you did willingly. So it's almost like you know, getting into a roller coaster and it not running smoothly the way it's supposed to, you know, and all of a sudden it comes to a stop because it's like, you know, something and, and the stop is sometimes it could be an accident. You know what I mean? It feels like an accident. All right, let's see. Why is the three of wands here for Capricorn, sun, moon, rising and Venus? Wherever you are is guaranteed. It's not wherever you're going to stay. Um, three of wands, please universal energies, three of wands, nine of wands. Some of you are, you know, I feel like you were wounded. I feel like you were, um, 
very powerful as well. I think that it's time for you to say, you know what, I'm going to sit back. I'm going to wait for things to just unfold. You know, um, I feel like you're taking a chance to kind of recover from where you were. The moon, I feel that you are opening up your eyes to an illusion, opening up your eyes to something that just didn't work out the way you had thought it could. Um, with the moon, it's almost like taking off the blindfolds. It's almost like getting get out of your daydreaming. Okay, for those of you, for others of you, um, you know, you found out that there was a truth that was exposed. Somebody could have been hiding secrets from you, not being very honest. You also have here the King of Pentacles, very stable energy coming through. Um, so I feel that for some of you, I feel, listen, you could be waiting for money. Okay, you could be waiting for your abundance. You could be saying, you know what? I put a lot of work into this and it's just not working out the way I thought. Why is the moon here? I got to go back to the moon. Why is it here? Some of you, let me tell you, you're going to find out something about somebody in your life. If this person has money, there's going to, there's going to be a re realization. You know, there's going to be a realization that maybe, you know, you've been waiting for this person for some time, but I don't really feel like they're showing up just yet. Um, please universal energies. Why is the moon here? One more time for the moon. Why is it here? What does the moon have to reveal for Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Four of wands. For some of you, listen, I feel like for some of you, there's going to be a completion here. This is something in your life coming to a hold, coming to a stand you know, sometimes, you know, we think that we have a life with somebody and it's cut short simply because the cycle really completes, you know, some of you need to learn how to be happy, learn to receive the gifts that you are given by the universe, you know, um, why is the four of wands here? Four of wands, page of pentacles. I feel like you have kind of stopped giving to a situation Okay, for others of you, you realize that this person is not going to give you any more than what you would like. Why is the five of swords here? Five of swords, why is it here? For Capricorn, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Capricorn. These universal energies, Capricorn, the full energy, beautiful. Listen, for some of you, this situation in the past forced you to depart from a situation. I feel like the universe is letting you know that you have spent way too long in a particular place with this person. For others of you, this person could have left your life. You were kind of waiting for this person to come back. But you're realizing that this person, if they come back, they're still not willing to give you what you want. Why is the full energy here? I feel that for some of you, there was something here that you needed to learn. And, you know, the lessons have been learned. It's time to continue your journey. You know, you also have here the Knight of Wands, okay? Taking action very slowly toward a situation. So I feel... That for some of you, I got to be honest, you weren't ready for this. You know, I feel like somebody, for some of you, somebody in your life actually walked out. Um, and I, and that's what I'm picking up from the Knight of Wands. Like this person was like, I'm out, you know, I'm out in the night. I'm not going to let this person see me. You know, this was somebody that slipped away while you were maybe sleeping. You know, why is the wheel of fortune here. Wheel of Fortune, why is it here for Capricorn? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. <clears throat> Ace of Pentacles. For some of you, there's a brand new opportunity here. I'm going to tell you, whatever shift you are being moved in, you know, there's an opportunity here for some of you to either get a, a new job, a new opportunity in making extra money. For some of you, let me tell you, you're king of pentacles. You know, if you are stable, if you know what you're spending your money on, I feel that more money is going to be coming your way. Others of you, I'm going to let you know that if you're dealing with a job that is no longer for you, the universe is going to move you and put you in a different place so that you can start over, okay? Starting over is never um, an easy task, but you know what? It can be done. It is the beginning of a brand new situation. 
and you end it with the five of swords. So we get the five of swords, not once, but twice in your reading, Capricorn. A lot of fuckery in your reading, a lot of, um, this is drama, this is fighting, okay? I want to know what the hell this is all about. You are on a journey that is going to come to a rapid end. Why? Because, listen, the universe is tired of seeing you in this energy. You know, um, there are new beginnings here for you if you decide to take off um, the blindfolds, get yourself out of that illusion that, you know, things could be, could be, that's what I hear, could be, should have been. Okay, why do we have here the five of swords twice? I feel like if for those of you that are leaving a situation, it's going, the drama will continue. The drama will continue. For those of you that are getting a promotion, the drama will continue from whatever it is, okay? It could be people standing in your way. King of, of Cups, I mean, I'm sorry, Queen of Cups. With the Queen of Cups, I feel that for some of you, it's time to follow your intuition. It's time to follow your intelligence. Seven of Swords. There's a lie here. Some of you are going to find out that somebody was lying, stealing, cheating, you know. And with these two cards here, this is definitely a situation that has been hidden for some time. And I feel that for some of you, there's something here is going to be exposed. You also have here the Two of Cups. I feel that when this truth is exposed, the universe is going to shift you to a soulmate. There's no other way how to say that. You know, um, I feel that you are going to discover some things and it's going, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be filled with drama. You know, some of you are going to be angry, like, what the fuck? What happened? You know, like, you know, why did you do this to me? Um, you know, you put me up against the wall, but eventually I'm going to tell you the collapse of this relationship or more, more the re realization that you deserve more is going to come through. And I'm going to tell you, for those of you that are loving and caring, okay, love is going to come in, I promise, okay? Um, with the two of cups, this is somebody coming in to melt your heart. And that's what I'm hearing it, you know? That's how I'm hearing it. They're coming in to melt your heart. This is going to be, um, you know, a time to nurture, a time to be happy, a time, you know, some of you, I'm going to tell you, you could eat, you could also maybe even marry this person at some point, but you know what? Open up your path to the things and don't resist change. You know, sometimes things happen when we resist change and the wheel of fortune is here to let you know you cannot resist change anymore because you know what? The destiny wheel is coming in and it will divide your road in such a way that you will be somewhere else, okay? I am going to leave this here, Capricorn. Thank you so much for being here and take care.